Let's start by drawing one filled yellow tile on the side to represent the term X. Next, draw two filled green tiles on the side to stand for the term 2. Now, we'll draw one filled yellow tile at the top to represent the term X. Finally, draw three empty green tiles at the top to stand for the term negative 3. Time to start multiplying. Since X times X equals X squared. Let's draw one filled red tile to represent the term x squared. x times negative 3 equals negative 3x, so draw three empty yellow tiles to stand for the term negative 3x. 2 times x equals 2x, so draw two filled yellow tiles to stand for the term 2x. Last one. 2 times negative 3 equals negative 6, so we'll draw 6 empty green tiles to represent the term negative 6. These tiles represent our product. Let's take a closer look. We now have one filled red tile, which represents the term x squared. There are three empty yellow tiles, and they represent the term negative 3x. There are two filled yellow tiles, and they represent the term 2x. There are six empty green tiles, which stand for the term negative 6. Check it out. The original product, x plus 2, times, x minus 3, equals x squared minus 3x plus 2x minus 6. Notice that this expression has like terms, which we can combine. All done. Our final result is x squared minus x minus 6.